Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are just going to, you know, set up our, not actually set up our things. We're gonna fix few old things that we had to fix before, and in that is going to include our login system first of all. So what do we do? We just go back to our uh, login system, and basically here what we're gonna do, other than just sending the refresh token, if there is no refresh token, so you connect to the refresh token here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Connected. Okay, nice. So now we're basically gonna say before saying the new refresh token array, we'll say um so like if connected dot refresh token dot length greater than 10 which means there are a lot of refresh tokens there right now what do we exactly have to do we need to say first of all yeah you hold up a minute and we have to do something okay so we'll just say let uh, let database Tokens is going to be an empty array. Actually, it's going to be an array containing connected dot refresh token. So you say for loop for i is equal to zero, i is until n is i is smaller than database token dot length. Till then, I'm going to increase i. Okay. And since I'm increasing, I want to say here. JWT dot verify over database tokens i and my secret key is process the env dot refresh secret key you get back error and they decoded I would say if error then database token dots lies at to index one otherwise do nothing this basic this little bit command is all that's it doing okay what is it doing we're just looping around looping throughout a whole of our whole database tokens and this little thing is just checking if they uh, they have expired yet or not so let's try to do one thing let's go to database we have one let me just try to log in a lot of times one two four five Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I log it in fourteen times. I get. Actually, I log it in twelve, like around twelve times. I was counting the seconds actually. So we can see here we have twelve accounts, twelve refresh tokens. And uh, let's just wait for a few more seconds, just to make sure that the thirty-second timer actually goes by. I guess we may reach some point. Well, let's say login again. I do a refresh here. I should see a few tokens gone because we were registering one by one, which means there can be seconds delay. I will try to register login again. I will just try to login again. I should see a few more refresh tokens gone. And I will try to log in one, two, three now. I should probably see only one refresh token. Only out uh, two, three. I will just try to log in again. I should see more gone. This is uh, the last and one. So log in again, and it's also gone. Now this thing, this zero one, is going to last for another thirty seconds, then another thirty seconds, then another thirty seconds. It's just going to expire never. So well, yeah, that was it for that thing that we set it up for. You know, deleting our refresh tokens every single time we're making a request, and only the refresh tokens that have expired actually. Okay, great. So we don't have to every single time verify if our refresh token has expired yet or not. We're just gonna do it here, and boom, there we go. That's all we have to do. And is there anything else that we needed to do? I'm just taking, I'm just taking a look around here and there, just to make sure we didn't miss something, something important out. Uh,
yep we did missed one thing so basically we're just having your limit files as maximum one gig of one gb video supported but we never returned the you know error like okay this uh, file type is not supported something like that are we no we are not doing that I was thinking about this thing before so I'm saying yarn dev in the browser Try to log in Try to upload a video Okay Now this thing is looking bad Whoa This thing is madness I want this Drop or click to upload a video to be in the exact center more like a fix it thing absolute not absolute I want it to be fixed absolute is okay but fix it is itself Okay, now fix it. Just it, it will just stay in the middle, no matter what happens. Okay, if I just try to let me just check one thing. Okay, drop a click to upload the video. Let's say all files and here we we'll just upload something random that we don't support. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't care. First of all, it doesn't really care about. This thing at that moment when we when we are actually trying to upload it, we're only accepting few of these type of things. But still, if someone is trying to upload something, I'll just say on change handle upload E and handle upload is this one. So video size said this thing. This is only if the uh, they drag it down drop. We need to do ad additional verification right here. Let's see, console log the eDotomedon files. Type is application x slash xms download. Okay. Dot name. Dot name if I split it out dot and I select uh, the last things you know the just the what do we say extensions Dot split at dot at minus one, which means it will select the last one, last index of this thing. So what I want to make sure is just first of all I want to just test it out. Excc great. Let's say video upload. Where is that? We're here having the extensions, right? Yeah, for both of them. That's good. Video extensions. I'll just go a little bit more down.
if video extensions don't include this thing, you just we're just saying basically if it doesn't include this, then I want to say like return, not actually return. I would say show up the error. video type otherwise we know what we want have to show right yep it's basically going to be the same thing for the either data transfer of files also Incorrect video type. Now for the another part of uploading the thumbnail. Upload thumbnail this thing. If common extension does not include this e dot targeted files, then I want to just return back the error. Say incorrect thumbnail type not supported. Otherwise, we're going to do something else. Let's take a look at it. Incorrect video type. Okay, it will not just let us upload anything random, right? So you're just having that forcing thing. But it cannot use properties of undefined. Reading name. Alrighty. Okay, so what did it call this one? When I try to close it. You will say if a dot target dot files include is included, and then make a check like that. You know, e dot data transfer actually include is you know valid thing. Afterwards, I want to check for something. Largest content paint. Please add the priority property in this image. If this image is above the folds, upload cancel. The try to upload again. Incorrect video type. Well, not really. This MP4. Okay, they they're just clashing things again.
Alrighty, so thumbnail thing. Well, that's a different thing. What we're seeing here: video access dot mp4. Oh, dot. It's not about the dot, right? We cannot be have the dots right there. Because they don't check like that. And this is the thing. Let's try to do a reload. Word cancel. Word cancel. So basically, now the things are going pretty fine. Let's do like that. All files. Incorrect video type. Video type. Wrong file, incorrect thumbnail type. But it did select it, selected it though, right? I want to say. The file is going to be an empty array. Tell me this thing. If that is the case, then I don't want anything to be selected. If we're selecting the wrong files, then why do we want any them to be selected, right? I want I failed to convert value to file like this. E dot dot files. Okay. Maybe it'll splice. Okay, what is this? You notice it was stuck right there. Well, yeah, I did also. And I lose all unselect loaded image HTML. Dot value. Well, it was kind of same that we what we were do, trying to do. Okay, value is going to be equal to empty. Choose the wrong file and get nothing back. Uh uh wrong file and the uh, video file dot dot value is going to be nothing. Here to target a value.
return component file dot value is going to be nothing. Incorrect video type. My bad. Okay, we need to also tell the user this thing. Incorrect thumbnail type. You cannot be using wrong thumbnail types, man. That's not how this planet Earth works. Okay. So, guys, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you in the next video very, very soon. And have a nice day. Bye bye.